It looks like there is one question former White House Press Secretary Kayleigh McEnany will never forget being asked from her time representing former President Donald Trump. While speaking in front of conservative group Turning Point USA at their Young Women's Leadership Summit on June 13th, she recalled an inquiry she received during a May 2020 press conference in which a journalist asked, Will you pledge never to lie to us from that podium? McEnany promptly replied, I will never lie to you. You have my word on that. And although critics were quick to slam her remark at the time, it seems like she still stands by her words. Reiterating her previous assertion for Sunday's conservative audience, McEnany explained, And I said without hesitation, no, and I never did. She continued, As a woman of faith, as a mother of baby Blake, as a person who meticulously prepared at some of the world's hardest institutions, I never lied. I sourced my information. While speaking about her time behind the podium representing former President Donald Trump, Kayleigh McEnany said she was unjustly classified as a liar by the news media, despite her qualifications for the role and her commitment to her faith. As she said to the crowd at Turning Point USA's Young Women's Leadership Summit, But that will never stop the press from calling you a liar. She continued to claim, Our motto was this, offense only, because I knew what we were up against. Republicans always get the bad headlines, always get the false stories, always get the lies. If I can use that word, told by the press, there is one standard for Democrats and another for Republicans, and we must be on offense, confident, bold, and willing to call it out. We cannot be silent. But although McEnany professed her supposed respect for the truth, many people took to Twitter to state otherwise. One person tweeted, Kaylee McEnany never told a lie. She is consistent. When up is down and right is wrong and real is fake. In this wonderland, she is truth personified. Another person tweeted, Wow, she lies about lying by saying she could never lie because of her faith. Unbelievable. However, it looks like the former press secretary expected the criticism and later tweeted, Haters will hate. Her rebuttal prompted a slew of tweets reading, And liars will lie. One Twitter user let her have it, writing, Yep, Kaylee McEnany never lied, and I'm a 6'2", size 4, natural blonde, road scholar virgin who never swears, invented pasta, won the Preakness as a horse, wrote the screenplay for The Graduate, and can beat The Rock in an arm wrestling competition with my left arm. Another Twitter user wasn't letting McEnany off the hook either, writing, As a Christian and a mother, I have never ever jaywalked. God made me use the crosswalks. Like Kaylee McEnany, everything I just typed is a lie. On the other side of things, at least one Twitter user thanked McEnany, writing, It's beyond evident that the media and leftist Twitter don't like someone who consistently told the truth, called out the bias, and fought for transparency. Kaylee will forever be one of, if not the best, White House press secretaries. I know the person I am, and I know what I stand for. Fact checkers also aren't buying Kayleigh McEnany's claims that she never lied. One month before she became former President Trump's press secretary, she said, per the Washington Post, We will not see diseases like the coronavirus come here. Obviously, she was incorrect. However, in September 2020, McEnany appeared to backtrack when she said in a White House briefing, President Trump never downplayed the virus. She also suggested that Trump didn't downplay the risk COVID-19 presented to the U.S. The same month, she also said that Trump's health care plan to replace the Affordable Care Act would be released in the next week or so. However, that plan wasn't ever released while he was in office, or since. At her first press conference in her role as press secretary, McEnany also said of Robert Mueller's report on the investigation into Trump's potential involvement with Russian officials, There was a whole lot of speculation about Russia, 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 culminating in $40 million of taxpayer money being lost, and the complete and total exoneration of President Trump. Her statement was not true. The report actually said, per the New York Times, while this report does not conclude that the president committed a crime, it also does not exonerate him. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebrities are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.